Bonus clip. We're gonna show this before we eat the fish. Bussin, 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 bussin. It was four whole bussins. Spoiler alert. Some, uh, what is this, lemon cheesecake? Lemon. Yep. Something like that. It's good, too. Mm. Three bussins, for sure. Absolutely. Three bussins. What's up, guys? It's Jock here. And as you can see here, we have some red snapper. We got that defrosting. And we're about to pan pan sear it, which is my favorite way to cook any fish. Uh, so right here, we've got some extra virgin olive oil and a crawfish pan. And what we're gonna do is pour that in there. Uh, our snapper is still um, defrosting. So we're just gonna get it nice and layered. We're not gonna put too much, just to where it about covers the bottom. And just put a little more, just so you have enough. And you're gonna get it to go all over the pan. Like so, as you can see, it's covering the whole pan. So even though I covered the whole pan, I'm gonna add a little more. Oh, and I love that smell of olive oil. That's absolutely love it. So we'll see y'all when the fish is defrosted. One thing, our seasoning. There's gonna be three seasonings we're gonna use. We're gonna take a little bit lemon pepper. It's not gonna show because I have the camera on reverse. Good Seasons Zesty Italian and Paul Prudhomme's Seafood Magic. We'll see y'all in the season. All right, guys, so our fish is still defrosting. I think it, yeah, it's almost ready, guys. One thing, invest in a small vacuum sealer because it makes your life so much easier. If you're a sport fisherman like me, a sportsman, a sportsman like me, always keeping wild game and fish and and a lot of it we we keep a lot of it so we need to freeze a lot of it vacuum sealing stuff is so much more convenient than ziploc bags because it i mean we've been uncle sam how long have we been defrosting this maybe 10 minutes and in like two of and in like two minutes it's gonna be done I have a little bit of lemon pepper and Paul Prude home and some olive oil in this pan already seasoned. And right here is our pan. It's a uh, Go Tom steel on the bottom, copper chef pan. Um, I use, I always use copper pans. Um, because they just grab the heat a lot more. And we're gonna be taking it to the outside stove. Um, and whatever's left of this oil, we're actually gonna put in the pan. We're not gonna use any fresh oil. So we'll see y'all whenever we're putting our fish in the season. Bam. Got this spatula here. Pretty firm, it's what we always use. And, what, and basically the motion of flipping our fish is just gonna be Go under real fast and then just flip it. And with the seasoning, it's kind of going to stick. So sometimes you can go and then come back in the middle. See y'all. All right, guys. So here's all our fish. These three pieces that look a little under seasoned. That's just the ones that we use the olive oil for. But we got all our fish and we got our oil heating up. Oh, it's actually starting to separate. Does that mean we put our fish in? Uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll put a drip of water. Yeah, put a drip of water. That's what we always do. Not quite, huh? Nope. But I will. That's all right. It's a non-stick pan. It's yeah. Full of oil. You yeah. Fish it for so full of oil, don't know. Yeah. All right, we'll see y'all when we put that in that. Okay. All right, guys, so if you're hearing crackling, that's water that we added. It's 
Just a couple drops. A couple drops to check the oil. So now, as you can see, I have a beautiful piece of red snapper here. And we're just gonna lay it in. On the way. Cool. Water popping. A lot of splattering going on, guys. But another one. Oh, I do about three at a time. Yep. Uh, we find this little guy here. Probably fit. Yeah, fit. Let's scoot the mother on door. Yep. Let me uh, let me fix this, guys. Mm, so there we go. So, so. Guys, my saliva glands are on overload right now. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's gonna be good, dude. It's gonna be good, dude. Alright, I'm gonna get away from all that splatter and grease. Um, and we'll see y'all whenever we plate it up. See ya. Guys, we just flipped it, and oh my god. That looks amazing. Sam got me a fork. How polite is that? All right, guys. It's time for my favorite part of cooking slash eating. And that is eating. eating. So I've already tried a little piece just to make sure it was edible. <laughs> it's edible, guys. Looks very Let's see edible. what Uncle Sam thinks of it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now my first actual bite. Oh, that was good, man. You did that just right. It wasn't and it's, so much seasoning on it that it. Uh, oh gosh. And a solid response from father. I think it's going to be good. Not the scale. <laughs> good. Yep, I got a couple scales too, this father. Is very good, son. Thank you, thank you, father. All right, give it a try. What can you do with this? Mm. Mm. It may be a little biased, but that is some good stuff. Good, good, good. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Change the fish. Yeah. Wasn't so much seasoning that you didn't taste that. Look, why you dropped that? Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. We will see y'all in the next video. Please leave a like if y'all enjoyed. If you aren't already, go down, hit that red button. Um, and comment, comment if you want to see more content like this. We will see y'all later. Peace.